exclusive story you will only see on Fox 6. A knife attack victim describes the fight of her life. She says her nephew stabbed her over 18 times. Fox 6's Aaron may have been live with what stopped the man during this brutal and unprovoked attack. Aaron? Well, Ben and Stephanie, that vicious attack played out in an apartment here at this Kenosha complex. That woman really fought for her life, but it was her roommate who heard the commotion and stepped in. They're just everywhere. Karen Robinson is covered in wounds. I even have one on my nose. Showing the aftermath of a vicious stabbing attack. I was stabbed in my head a total of seven times. On December 11th, she was in her Kenosha home. Her nephew, Jerron Johnson, had come over to visit. She says his behavior was strange. I heard him go in the bathroom, come back out the bathroom, and go back. I said, what is he doing? He was acting erratic. And out of nowhere, the visit took a turn. Then I, I see him, and he's, he's coming right at me. Robinson says Johnson began stabbing her. And he's, he's sticking me every time I try to grab him. He's stabbing me. He's stabbing me. He's stabbing me. Over 18 times. She says it was unprovoked. He was like an animal. It was like him and an animal attack you. No one was there. Every time I think about it is... Someone was there. It's disturbing. Her roommate, Linda Boyd, heard the struggle. When I came in, he was, he was on top of her. She jumped into action and grabbed a heavy glass ashtray. I just focused on getting him off of her. And that's when I hit him. I know I knocked him out. He slumped. Doom, doom, in front of me. It was like, I got to answer my prayers. Told her to come on, let's go. And we ran out. I thought he's going to kill me. Karen Robinson is grateful to be alive and for a friend who she says saved her life. I made it. <laughs> and God blessed me. And I was thankful to have my best friend here with me. A criminal complaint says hospital staff told police Johnson appeared to be under the influence of some type of drug. Now, Robinson believes her nephew was on medication for a mental illness, but she does not believe that medication was working. Another note, she's a hairstylist for a living, but her arms and hands, as you just saw, they're injured and she's not able to work. So the family has set up a GoFundMe page to help pay the bills. And we have that information on our website, fox6now.com. Reporting live in Kenosha, Erin Maben, Fox 6 News. What an incredible story. I'm glad she's still with us today. Erin, thank you.